And now to talk about the issue of President Jinubu's cropping and merging ministries, we have Dr. Shola Diosho, a public affairs analyst and a lecturer. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us in the news. All right, so earlier today, the president announced the scrapping of the Niger Delta Ministry, a ministry of sports development, just as FEC also approved the merger of Ministry of Tourism with the Ministry of Culture and Creative Economy, which is creating a single entity. So, sir, what do you make of this development? Uh, uh, every administration in this country normally is one uh, modification on the other. And uh, we have just uh, had about the current administration. It's not new. But scrapping uh, some uh, ministries and uh, modifying some ministries is not a problem but what is the impact or what will be the impact of this problem? or what will be the impact of this modification how will it affect positively the life of common men on the street how will it reduce hardship and uh, poverty in nigeria how will he ensure that there is a uh, security of life and property how will it ensure that there is food abundant then these are the questions we need to ask ourselves. For I, one will be thinking that scrubbing some of those ministries and modifying others will bring about effectiveness and efficiency in governance of Nigeria. But look at the cost of running these uh, ministries. In the past, we've been saying that the budgetary allocation on yearly basis to each of these ministries in Nigeria is indirectly telling us that we are spending too much on governance and there is need for us to adjust and reduce the cost on this uh, running of this ministry. But scrapping of this ministry now, we want to see how it will reduce the cost of governance and how it will facilitate uh, economic, uh, political, social development of our nation. So if this happens after this modification in the ministry, uh, scrapping of ministry, then we can now say the government has taken the right direction, uh, the right step in the right direction. But on today, I think we need to watch out what will be the implication of scrapping of this ministry or modification of this ministry, whether it will bring about positive uh, development to Nigeria. All right, so if we are to go by that, the average song on the lips of our Nigerians is lamenting hardship caused by Tinubu's administration. So does this development not reflect the yearning of Nigerians since they are clamoring for Tinubu's cabinet reshuffling as the call is being intensified? Uh, yes, to me. Uh, nobody comes from another country as the new minister that will replace those who have been removed. And uh, the new ministries that are coming up under the word the scrapping or modification, I think it's still the same Nigerian who had the same intention of going there to either make money for themselves or satisfying their immediate family. So uh, scrapping the ministry or modifying the ministry is not an issue, but the behavior of Nigerian as well. Have you made up our mind that we want to use our office to facilitate development? We want to use our office to reduce poverty and hardship in Nigeria. Is it not the same mindset that, yes, some ministers have been removed, some ministers have been modified, and we have just been appointed. This is our turn to go and get our national key at the detriment of Nigerians generally. So if we keep changing people, modifying ministry, scrapping some, without changing our attitude, our mindset, our culture, our orientation of Corruption. I don't think scrapping of ministry, modifying ministry, without modifying our character, our value, our culture, our orientation, our mindset, will bring any positive change to Nigeria, rather than giving people opportunity to go there and get their national cake under corruption. What would you advise the president to do as it relates to other ministries that you feel have not lived up to expectations? 
like uh, Minister of uh, uh, maybe development or uh, the regional development, I look at certain things that may come from there in form of positive uh, changes. Like uh, it will enable uh, those who are going to occupy that position as minister to see themselves as Nigerian rather than looking at themselves from one region or the other. So if they see themselves as Nigerian, they will see the opportunity they have to uh, work in those ministries to serve Nigerians generally irrespective of whether we are from South, we are from North, we are from East, or we are from Central. So that is what I think will happen there. But beyond that, how do we reduce the cost of governance? How will those money that we are not going to spend in those ministries that have been scrapped, how will it affect the lives of Nigerians positively? Is it not still going to be the same uh, scenario we still continue to witness? Because the cost of governance is too much. Until we do what? We'll reduce the cost of governance. And even prove to the Nigerians that scrapping of this ministry has been like wasting of money in the past. Now we have scrapped them. This are the money we can get from there. And this is where we are shelling this money to. And we begin to see how this will reduce hardship, poverty, and how it will help other sectors like the power, the petroleum resources, security, health, and so on and so forth. Until when this happens, we will continue to see recycling of old politicians under new arrangement of a new ministry, irrespective of name we call it. That is no worry, the matter. What matters is that have we changed our attitude? Those are that are newly appointed, are they going to do the same thing in different way to give us different results? All right, so quickly before we let you go, what would be your advice to the ministers who were sacked going forward? Whatever beginning was happening, right from the day they were given appointment, they show that anytime, any day, they could be asked to go out. And in the part of the uh, president, I can see him coming up with a leadership quality of giving people responsibility and look back to evaluate their performance to know whether they are doing well or not. But those that have just been appointed, I pray that they will learn from what has happened with that. Anytime, any day, their performances will be evaluated. And if they perform below expectation, there's a tendency they may be removed on ceremonial stage. Or if they perform well, they will be given more responsibility. All right, thank you so much for joining us on Galaxy TV News at this time. We truly appreciate your presence. Thank you. All right, that's Dr. Shola Adeosho, a public affairs analyst and a lecturer.